there. What? What's up, my NSAPs? Welcome to my channel. So, today I'm gonna be reacting to Keepo and the Age of Wonder Beast, Season 1, Episode 6, Ratland. So, okay, now I can assume we're gonna meet mutant rats. Cool. I find it funny that every episode we seem to be learning and meeting um, new mutes and new creatures and characters and stuff, different like parts of the of the new um, topside world. Um, so this is interesting. Um, I wonder if they're gonna come with their own genre of music. I hope so, because uh, that part that part has been pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. So uh, yeah, we'll see what the rats are about. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me on my social media accounts. Where I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full version of this reaction, go ahead and click that Patreon link down below. And now with that. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Well, now that we know um, that Kipo is in fact a mute, like I said, uh, I am very intrigued to see what she is exactly and why she is. Oh, starting off right at the bat. Ew. What is that? Who are you? Oh wait, these are humans dancing. Oh! What the heck? Those are humans. We are have party crashes. How rude. Are you Scarlamane? Scarlamane's palace in the real. I love what you've done with it. You are. You are Scarlamane. Smells like we're performing here. Sorry, we got like some kind of construction thing going on in the in the apartment. Uh, anyway, sorry. If you hear any kind of like hammering or something, that's what that is. Hopefully, you're not gonna hear a lot though. Literally, from my own pheromones. <gasps> oh. It won't work on you canines. Just primates. <laughs> but I only use it on a certain class of primate, the lesser ones. Even a monkey has his standards. <laughs> oh! Okay, so this is Scarlet Mane. That's scary. Is it because you have scars on your face? On your mane? Scarlet Mane? Okay, I'm kind of getting that now. Anyway, so that pink um, spray thing that we saw in, about like two episodes ago when we met that giant monkey, is that controlling shit made from his pheromones as he is now demonstrating with these guys? But he says it only works on primates, which makes sense. Okay, that giant monkey was a primate. And humans are the lesser primate? Wow. This is definitely a turn of events in this world. Uh, this is interesting. You're not what I expected. I'll be honest. Scarlet Mane's not what I expected, but this is gonna be interesting. You remember that telescope that we <laughs> used to have? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah, they don't have it anymore. If there's a human oh. out there, I want him dancing for me by dawn! <laughs> oh, so you're just obsessed with making humans your minions. Mind-controlled minions, that's your goal. Okay, why? Is it because of the way humans used to treat monkeys? Is that what it is, the personal vendetta? Interesting. Okay, now we gotta, now we gotta see who Scarlet Mane was. Not what I expected. Three, I said that already, two, but like, really. Big enough so he knew I would see it, but only I would know it was a message. I have no clue what the message is. But it must huh. mean something to you. In light years, 3.262 is the length of a parsec. A what sec? Oh. Parsec. <laughs> what sec? <laughs> it also happens to be my birthday. March 26th at 2 a.m. Kipo, is today your B-day? If you mean, did my dad and I decorate this date in my calendar back home with balloon stickers? Yes. Oh, that's cute. So she's 13 now? Okay. Cause she was 12, right? Now she's 13, got it. Official team, congrats. I love Karen's uh, voice. she just have a whole conversation with herself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, she did. <gasps> Why'd you do that? Now we're the only ones who know about this clue and only we can follow it. You're welcome. There's a word I'm looking for. Uh, what is it? It's Overkill. Yeah, is that why you did that? Maybe we pause the clue cracking. How old are you turning? 13. That's a big deal. Right? We it is. to celebrate. When's your birthday? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Everyone knows their birthday. She doesn't. Not this everyone. The wolves who raised you never once threw you a party? Oh. Don't right. do it. Don't do it. Touchy We're subject. To you have to get each other presents. Oh, of course. They're the best part of birthdays. Meet back here when you find something. By the way, I like things that are purple. And board games. Good luck. Purple. Hmm. Gee, wonder why. stuck with the two mutes. Wow. Why are you hating on them? They're fun. Why are you so salty? <laughs> or worse. 
Sometimes you see stuff like that around. It's best to ignore it. Don't. Damn. They hated humans that much? Or they hate humans that much? Jeez, I know we're not like some of us can be not the greatest people around, but damn. All right. It's my present for you. Canned cheese made with 12% real cheese. <laughs> What's the rest of it made of? Good no, question. <laughs> doesn't matter. I don't think you want to know. <laughs> oh, look at your face. No, that's, that's not it. The real gift is way better. Go on. <laughs> Next time you ring the dinner bell, we are done, mute. From now on, this... This right here is a mute-free zone. Uh, Monty! Oh, yeah! Sometimes on the surface, there's more than what you see on the surface. Okay. Oh, was it spray paint? Oh, no, it's cheese. Spray cheese. And the rats. Because it's cheese. Oh, God. Your chariot awaits. Ah. Are they like... Tell me Uber taxi drivers here? Where are you taking us? Oh, that's cool. Bonjour, y'all. And Jane may appelle Amy. That's French for my name is Amy. Hola and bienvenidos a bordo. I'm Brad. I love it. What? Welcome to Ratland. Oh, wait a minute. Is Ratland like a play on Disney World because their main symbol is a mouse? As in the Mickey. If that was the play here, clever. If it wasn't, that's just a coincidence. See? Cool. I told you it'd be good. That's cute. It's good. Oh, that's awesome. That's a great Perfect. gift. Ooh, that's cool. Not now, pig. I'm busy. For me. We still gotta look for, <laughs> for me, though. That's it. It's just like the one she liked in Cactus Town. It's perfect. We have to give it to her. Who made you jacket balls? Uh-oh. Fine. He ripped it. Oops. You are truly useless, Mute. You hear the knocking? Yeah, sorry. The rats made this a safe song. All species welcome. Oh. Well, fun fact. Easily the best cruise in this part of town if I don't mind tooting my That's so horn. nice. <laughs> Hang on. Hold your breath. Oh! Keep oh uh oh I see crushing happening from Kipo though, not from Vincent. But Kipo, look, we got the blush. Oh shit! Mega Don't worry, Amy. I think his bark is worse than his bite. Uh, these are some That's cute. Worst jokes I've ever heard in my life. I think I love this ride. Yeah, it's great. I do love cheese. I really appreciate this. Uh oh. Oh shit. Uh oh, I think uh, Kipo's feeling a little something something here. Oh, wait, the snake and the cat? Wait, they got along? There's like, they're dating now? I saw that. I wasn't kidding about that safe zone. You can relax here, stretch your arms, enjoy the view. That's nice. I love that it's like a carnival. That's freaking sick. Look, see, there they are. Cat and the snake. Word. That's uh, true. Uh oh. Oh shit. You alright? Yeah. yeah, he doesn't seem to be reciprocating, Keep. Sure about that? <gasps> Just wish Wolf and Dave were here, too. <laughs> Why isn't he reciprocating? I mean, like, obviously that means he doesn't like her, but, like, Actually, I'm just saying, typically in these shows, if the main character, well, not all the time, but a lot of the time if the main character starts crushing on somebody, like, it, and it's also another kind of main character, most of the time, I want to say, like, maybe seven, eight times out of ten, um, they will reciprocate the feelings, but the fact that Benson is not... I wonder why. I wonder if it's because, you know, it's good to not always do that trope, you know, where the, for like, like, it's maybe gonna be that they can just stay friends, which would be nice. Um, because it's true, most of the time, you know, it's a boy and a girl and they're friends and then, like, they have to be together. That was, like, such the traditional, um, way of these shows and stuff like that. I see, obviously, that's changing more and more today, which is great. And a little bit more refreshing, because I always made that argument, too. It's like, why can't you just be friends with, with guys and boys, even if you weren't gay? Like, even if you were both straight, why can't you just have friendship with guys without it turning romantic? You know what I mean? So, if that's the case here, that's gonna be refreshing. That's nice. I would actually really appreciate that. Uh, but let's keep going, because that's kind of what I'm just seeing. They're not showing Benson reciprocating that at all. It's so far only been Kipo. So I'm gonna keep my, on, my eye on that. I wanted, to, I wanted you to know that not everything on the surface is bad. That 
there are places where it's okay. Better than okay. That's that there's right. hope for your people. That's my real present Aww. for you. Oh. And, uh oh. And I just feel like I need to tell you that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Keep on breathe. Wait. I think I like you. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, she's gonna get her heart broken. Uh oh. I'm sorry. I don't think he likes you like that, sweetie. You should know something. <laughs> you like me as a friend. Yes, because I'm gay. Oh. <gasps> oh, I. Wait, I'm sorry. What? Wait, I was not. Where has this show been? What the fuck? This is DreamWorks, right? Holy shit! He blatantly just said... Oracle! I want to scream, but my throat is kind of hurting because I was just screaming in my last reaction, so I'm not going to do that, but God, do I want to... Guys! That is so fucking cool! Oh, DreamWorks, man. First with the She-Ra, now with the Kipo. Oh, wait, which one came first, actually? Did Kipo come out before She-Ra? I don't actually know. Holy shit, I was not expecting that! For an animation show that obviously is geared more towards children, even though I'm a grown-ass adult enjoying it as well, he just blatantly said, first of all, he is a male main character, a male main character of color, and then for him to blatantly say the words, I'm gay? That is so fucking nice. Props to the Kipo gang. I know this has been out already and I'm like super late to the party, but can I just say thank you for that? That actually means so much. Like as much as I want to scream and freak out, that actually is just so freaking meaningful to me right now. Because again, especially for the boys, for my gay boys out there, this one is for you guys. I love y'all. You guys also deserve so much good representation. I hope the show elaborates on that. And that it does it justice because so far that was actually just really nice to just get him to say it. Like it's nothing. That's awesome. That's why he doesn't reciprocate her feelings. I was just going off about, oh, maybe they're just going to make it, you know, break that trope and just make him the friends. No, it's because he's also gay. That's so cool. Oh my god. Okay, I want to just hear it one more time just to appreciate it one more time. And then I'm just going to keep going because that was amazing. Yay. You like me as a friend. We have a yes, gay main character. Because... I'm gay. Oh. <gasps> oh, I totally misread your signals. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying congratulations, but that is super fucking sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for that. Oh my God. That's amazing. Good for this show. Good for this freaking show. And to all my gay boys out there, love you. This one's for you guys. I think I'm just trying to say, I'm glad we're friends. There we go. That's really sweet. Oh shit. Damn, don't ruin this place. Carly Mae already is a dick. I don't like you. Oh, shit. Oh, are we having a mute thing? We're having a mute thing. What is happening? What the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? We're gonna go back and look at that because... Okay, so you're furry and you have spots. Are you a cheetah? A leopard? A jaguar? Those are all the ones with spots, right? You can see in the dark. You are some kind of animal mute. Mixed with human DNA? I don't know. What the fuck? Huh. Okay. We're getting to see more of her mutinous side, though. This is interesting. I'm excited for this. And it gave her, like, extra strength. So she's, like, super strong when she triggers this mutation shit. Okay. I just wanted to see the details of that. Oh, you crazy. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, they're gonna damage it. Oh, this place is getting ruined. That sucks. Fucking Scarlet Mane, you dick. Are you okay? Hey. Uh, yeah. Oh, he sees it. He sees it. I don't know what came over me. Kipo? Uh huh. Like something else was in control. Kipo! What happened to your arm? Uh huh. My arm? Yeah, it's fluffy now. I know sometimes girls your age go through changes. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty big change. Yeah, not that one, I'm buddy. Not open, am I? No. A for effort, though, buddy. What are you gonna find, or what you looking for? A-R-S-E-C. Parsec. Dave, you're a genius! I mean, a great job. Well, good job. Job. Dave. Wolf, you can job. let him have it. 
Oh, there's more. It's like realizing you might be useful causes you not to be useful. For real, we gotta give her that one. I just want this to go away. No, uh-uh. things first. We can't see. Use that shit. Punch it in the face. Wow. Oh, thank you for the help. He's a human. That's it. Do you see that? Yeah. Then we ask you to fill out a quick survey rating your experience here at Redland. That's funny. Oh, they actually did it! Try to forget the whole flamingo rider business. We'd really appreciate it. Please give us a ten. Please give us a ten. Stop it, Brad. You're gonna make him feel like they have to. But this is hilarious. You're amazing. Yes! yes. I would have given them a nice review. That was a beautiful place. It's gone now. Okay. What's happening to me? Yeah. I don't know, but you saved our lives on that Ferris wheel. Uh-huh. I also prefer. My dad's a scientist. Maybe he'll know what's happening. That's right. She's an experiment, isn't she? Yeah, this is starting to make more and more sense. Interesting. But the why is what's hanging out there. It's like Jurassic Park all over again. <laughs> oh, the shell. Ew. Ew. It's an Hello. old dame. It's so you funny. Dad? You in here? Uh, excuse me, young man. No, excuse me. Stupid. <laughs> What? What is it? Also, where are we? It's a ram's head. That's Kipo's birth sign. Oh! Yes. That's right. The fact that you remembered that. Kipo, this will help you find the second clover. Love, Dad. So oh. Someone drew a spaghetti on the back. A spaghetti? It's a map, Grandpa. Our little brother Scott should be so happy. Hell yeah. She can finally head back underground with her mole people and forget we ever existed. Oh no. Why'd you have to put it like that, Dave? Y'all can join her. Because I noticed whenever you fight, your hair gets in your eyes. Aw, that's cute. It's, uh, useful. Thanks. That's cute. Your turn, birthday twin. Wow. Ooh, birthday twin. Aw, it's from the jacket I liked. I love it. Mondu knows. That's not gonna be good because if Kipo finds that, she's gonna be really pissed at you for hiding it from her. Not a good move, Wolf. Not a good Come move I at like all. I understand you're a kid though, so. Can't get too mad at you. <laughs> mm hmm. Mondu ain't. What are you looking at? You know damn well what she's looking at. Ooh, if Mondu gets a chance to talk, Wolf, you in trouble. Shit. Well, that was another fantastic episode. Actually, I really liked that. Um, I love that we got to meet Scarlamine. Again, not what I was expecting, but it was a pleasant surprise because even, like his look is very, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Like, maybe not his look, but so far his personality and now learning kind of his mindset and what he's after. He's scary. He's pretty terrifying, actually. Um, I can tell he's gonna be a really good villain. So this is gonna be interesting to see more um, about him and to see more of him. So I'm looking forward to that. Wolf, uh, you made a bad call, girl. That is probably gonna definitely bite you in the ass. I'm sure it'll all resolve itself in the end, but yeah, there's that. Also, now we got the next, the second part to Kipo's mute uh, powers and abilities. She gets strength and she grows fur like a cheetah um, or jaguar or leopard, whatever. But she is definitely tapping into that mutation a little bit more. Is it because she's 13 now and like with puberty you kind of trigger new things about you? Maybe that's what it is. Um, that is definitely going to be really fun to learn more about though. So also, super bonus, Benson is gay. Holy shit, and we got him blatantly saying that. So now we have a gay main character who is a colored male in this character. That's pretty awesome. I really appreciate that. So yay and props for that. Uh, I'm also looking forward to see if that expands. Does he get a love interest? Uh, I guess we, I guess I have to wait and see. You guys have probably already seen it all. <laughs> so looking forward to that. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full version of this reaction, go ahead and click that Patreon link down below. I thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.